guys, I'm Tori Sterling. Welcome back to my channel. So ever since I've been blonde, one of my most requested videos has been a hair care routine, how I got blonde, how I keep my hair healthy when it's blonde, um, all that good stuff. So I'm going to be doing all of that today, talking about the products that I use, how I got blonde, how long it took me, what I ask for when I go to the salon, um, everything like that, pretty much like how to get my hair. If you guys are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload at least four videos a week. So it's really great and it's really fun. Um, but yeah, be sure to subscribe, join the fam. We're all loving, happy, big ol' happy fam. So come join it and let's get on to the video. So I've made videos in the past about my hair. So I'm gonna link one specifically down below where it's like a chatty get ready with me, but I really talk in depth about like why I was dark with extensions and then why I was blonde and then why I started back and like all this stuff. And literally, in it, I also talk about how I melted my hair off. Um, I didn't personally do it. I went to a hairdresser and she kind of melted my hair. Not that she was a bad hairdresser. She does her daughter's hair and like she's like legit and she does an amazing, amazing job. I just think she overdeveloped and over bleached my hair a little bit, which it sucks, but it happens. But it's, I mean, she's not a bad hairdresser. She's a great hairdresser. She just kind of messed up my hair a little bit. So I was blonde. I went back to brunette. I have a video about how I went from brunette to blonde in one day. That'll also be linked down below. When I was brunette, my hair was really damaged, so I got extensions in it, got those out, and then like I wanted to go back to my blonde self. So, um, about last May June, I lightened my hair for the first time in like nine months, and I was really really scared to. So that was how I gradually started getting to be blonde. So from that point, what we started to do was just balayage my hair and just add in like little subtle highlights pretty much just on the ends to like lighten it up I would just go back in like once every like two months to just do that then I went to college so I took like four months off of my hair then I just continued to lighten it up and it was getting light and I was being pretty healthy with it because I would use a lot of Olaplex and stuff like that I started you know wanting to be more aggressive with how light I was getting and I wanted to get light like right now so then I started foiling my hair and then I got to this color then I folded again and I got to this color and then I foiled it again then I got to this color and then I love this color that it was and then yesterday I wanted to get my roots touched up and then I was also like you know like make me a little ashy so now I'm this color so we got some ice in here it's like a little purpley still from the toner because it's literally done yesterday so like I'm still a little purple for my toner so I kind of have a lot of colors going on in my hair right now I'm icy I have some like yellowy pieces in here so I'm just a whole plethora of colors right now so that was my hair journey summed up as quickly as I could get it like I said I have other videos if you guys want to check those out all about my hair journey so I'll link those down below but I do want to say that my hair has been saved Courtney does my hair she does an amazing job I'm obsessed with her um, and she saved my hair uh, she like knows that I have anxiety when it comes to like bleaching my hair because I literally had like a catastrophe with it but my hair is healthy um, it's full it's nice and thick like what it was like I have pretty thick hair it's not like the thickest in the world but it's not thin by any means it doesn't feel brittle it doesn't dry it doesn't crack it's just good hair so I love her for it so yeah let's get into how I maintain the weave I wash my hair like two to three times a week I really try my best to not wash my hair all the time I work out pretty much every day um, so when I work out I do spin classes and that literally means I sweat like you would not even believe when I do wash my hair I always use purple shampoo I know they say I use it like once or twice a week or like once a week even but I every single time I wash my hair I use purple shampoo and purple conditioner because I want my hair to be so vibrant so I switch it out a lot because I don't want my hair to get used to a uh, specific formula so right now I'm using this I don't even know what this brand is I saw it in Wegmans and I needed a purple shampoo and conditioner I was like okay I'll try this so uh sure Germac Distinctions Silver Plus. I'm pretty sure this is for like old ladies. I don't know. It just reminds me of something that like old ladies would use. So I use it and it's like literally purple if you guys don't know what purple shampoo is. So it's like legit purple. So I put the shampoo in my hair and then I like leave it on as I shave my armpits. And then I wash it out and then I put the conditioner in. And then I shave everywhere else on my body and then I like um, exfoliate my body, cleanse my body and then I wash out the conditioner. So the conditioner is on there for like five minutes or so and this is on there for like 
45 seconds to a minute. I do have another backup that I'm excited to use after this. My friend Katie is a hairdresser and she has like white hair. Like I'm obsessed with her hair, it's white. And she said this is the best uh, purple shampoo and that she's ever used. And she really loves it so I went out and got it. So as soon as I run out of this, I want to start using this. I'm really excited. So this is the Dry Bar Blonde Ale Brightening Shampoo and Conditioner. Purple shampoo and conditioner is key to keeping your blonde bright and vibrant. Um, I also use Shimmer Lights. I really did like them a lot. I thought they worked really, really well. Okay, moving on to hair care and what I do after I get out of the shower because products are so key for keeping your hair healthy and not breaking and I don't know, like I don't know how people don't put product in their hair after they shower because I put a lot of product in my hair. The first thing I can't show you the front of because it says my salon on it. These are my salon brand products, which I know it's so annoying to hear from me being like, yeah, like I can only get it from my hair salon, but it, I'll tell you pretty much what it does. So this is called the Elixir and this is pretty much just a leave-in conditioner. Spray. The benefits it says seals color, smooths sprays, repairs damage, prevents split ends, moisturizes dry hair, strengthens fragile hair, prevents flat iron damage, prevents pool sun damage, adds shine, softness, silkiness, protects from blowout, protects from blow drying, dry out, and improves the texture and manageability. I wholeheartedly like believe in this product. I go crazy when I don't have this. Like I ran out like a few weeks ago and I was like going insane. I like didn't know what I was gonna do with myself. I need this product in my life. Everyone that works at the salon is obsessed with this product. All my friends that go there. Well, not all my friends like go to that salon, but all my friends around here go to the salon just to buy this product. It's just like really, really good. It's just pretty much like a leave-in conditioner on steroids. So I always put a leave-in conditioner in, and then this is one more product from my salon, and then after that, I'm done with my salon products, I swear. This is a keratin therapy treatment. But pretty much, um, I'll read the back what it says. It says, seals in keratin, protein, strength, smoothness, and shine. Heat activated leave-in treatment, prevents hair deeply from repair, revitalization, and smoothing. Um, a must for keratin treatment, similar to frizziness, formaldehyde free. I don't know. I don't have a keratin treatment, but I'm obsessed with this because it's full of protein. So it just leaves my hair feeling strong and healthy. Um, but you can't use this without this because if you use too much protein without this, your hair could break and snap. So these like go hand in hand. Then I move on to oils. I normally mix two of these oils. So first I do the elixir, then the keratin treatment, then I mix these two oils. So the first one, I have hair all over, like I'm disgusting. The first one is the Derm Organic Leave-In Treatment um, made with Argan Oil of Morocco. Cool. Yeah, this is just an oil. I really like how it makes my hair feel. It feels pretty good. And then I mix in this Redken Diamond Oil Glow Dry. I think it's just an oil. I don't really, I don't know what it's supposed to do, but um, it makes my hair feel good, makes it feel shiny, so I like it, I mix them together. The key is putting moisture back in your hair, because when you bleach your hair as much as I did, you need to have moisture back in it, because you're just, you're stripping out color and moisture, and you're just opening that pore. So I just fill my pore back in with like oil and moisture, and um, my hair thanks me for it. So. That's what I do, it works for me, it might not work for you, but it works for me. And then finally after that, I put in Hot Toddy. This is also by Dry Bar, it's the heat and UV protectant. Um, I just did this to protect my hair from the sun, from a blow dryer, from my flat iron, um, pretty much anything. I don't really curl my hair. Any sort of heat that I put on my hair is protected by this. When my hair is damp after I do all that, I put like a quarter size amount and I just put it all throughout my hair. This feels really good in my hair. It feels like really cool. So when I put it through my hair, it just sort of feels like a silicone coating is going through my whole head and it, it feels really good. I don't know how to how else to really explain that other than it just feels good. The last product that I use in my hair that I think like really helps save my hair with all the bleaching that I do to it is this. Oh my god, there's so much hair on it. It's like disgusting. This is Olaplex number three. If you are blonde um, by bleach, whether you're naturally blonde and you still bleach your hair, or just if you are blonde, you should absolutely use this product. It is amazing. Like, it's so good. Like, once a week, I like to Olaplex my hair. Olaplex literally saves your hair. It makes your hair not fall out. It makes your hair repair damage. Like, literally, if you do this like four times, your hair is gonna be perfectly fine. The best that I can do to explain Olaplex is let's say this is a hair follicle right this is my ends you know they can be split ends and frayed in every which direction when you put a regular hair mask over top of your hair what it does is it kind of just slicks it all together 
as a silicone coating. It smooths it down, makes it feel soft. Olaplex, when you put it over top of it, gets into the hair and literally like repairs it internally. And I'm not, this isn't sponsored, like this is legit. I did a little bit of research on this. Gets in there and literally repairs it internally. I don't know how it's so, oops. I don't know how it's so amazing at what it does, but it just, it really gets in there and it makes it look like this. Like it becomes one again. Amazing, it gets in there. It's not just a silicone coating to make your hair feel nice. It really repairs damage and fixes it. Get Olaplex number three. Um, I always get mine on Amazon. I never use dry shampoo because it can actually make your hair fall out. If I ever need to like texturize my hair or anything, I use Triple Sec. This is also by Dry Bar. It texturizes, amplifies, and refreshes, and it makes your hair just smell really, really good. Um, but back to what I said about dry shampoo, how it can make your hair fall out, what actually can happen is if you spray it in too much, your hair, um, it will stop producing the oils and then your hair will just become brittle and literally fall out of your head. So I don't really use dry shampoo too much. Um, also, I just find that it just doesn't work in my hair. Um, it just makes it dirtier, almost. So I don't really use dry shampoo. I used to use it a lot, but past like a few months or so, I have stopped using it altogether. So yeah, that is my hair care routine. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Um, I'm not an expert with hair. I don't really know too much about what I'm talking about, but I know it works for my hair. And you guys ask this a lot, so I wanted to give it to you guys. Um, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to check out my hair catastrophe video that I'm talking about, that's right here. If you guys want to see a video all about how I went from brunette to blonde in one day, that is right here. Love you guys. Talk to you in my next one. Bye.